Hey fellow YouTubers, Joe from Doc Cop Comics here. And uh, this is gonna be my first mystery box unveiling uh, video. Um, hopefully it won't be my last. Um, I'm kind of excited to open this box. I actually, uh, I got this box from uh, Chino's Comics. Uh, I paid for this box, it was a $40 box. And um, I figure what the, it's not a high dollar, probably low risk. Anyway, uh, the, um, the lure was that they were giving away a uh, raw Amazing Spider-Man 300, first appearance of Venom, so that was exciting. I, I don't actually have one in my collection at this time. Uh, I've been flipping them, but I don't have one now, so it would be nice to have gotten one. Um, so uh, before I start the, uh, the, the mystery box unveil, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Dave uh, from Dave Travels Through Time. His, he's got his YouTube video. He's trying to hit 200 subscribers, so if you, uh, if you have a chance and want to check out his videos, he does some pretty good impressions and um, sub him up. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, I'd appreciate a sub as well, or at least a like, a thumbs up. Uh, and if you don't, please feel free to put something in the comments. Uh, if you liked what I got in my mystery box, if you didn't like what I got, if you thought it was worth it, if you didn't think it was worth it, I'm not going to formulate opinion on this. Uh, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. So without further ado, uh, let me start out um, and open this mystery box. Again, this is from Chino's Comics. I want to point out that they they normally uh, do package their, their stuff pretty well. Um, they send it normally media mail, but that's okay because it, it's usually packaged pretty well. As you can see, lots of lots of protection. And comes in a nice rigid cardboard box. And then it's also bubble wrap. So you're definitely getting good packaging. I, I probably the only person I think packages better. Um, the best packaging I've ever seen is from Edwin at uh, Strictly Comics. Um, but Manny and Chino do a good job at Chino's Comics as well. Um, again, I, I, I bought this. Today's date is uh, August 20th, 2020. Um, I paid for this mystery box on May 28th. I actually just checked my uh, PayPal account to make sure. And I paid for this on May 28th of 2020, so it's been a while. Um, the box was shipped out. And I know they weren't shipping them out until they sold 50, 50 of these uh, boxes. Um, the box was shipped out on August 3rd, according to the, uh, the stamp. And I received it on August 10th. So it's, it's been a while. Um, so without further ado, here's my stack of books that I, I paid $40 for. Let's see if uh, I got anything worthwhile. First on the list, um, and again, I'm going to let you formulate your opinions. Uh, this is a Robotech number one remix. Um, it's from Titan Comics. Um, I, I personally never heard of it, but again, I'm, I'm a Marvel DC guy. Um, some image stuff, but... Um, Robotech number one. And again, all, all the books are bagged and boarded. Uh, then we got a Count Crowley number one of four, Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter. And this is a Dark Horse Comics. Um, hopefully uh, you can see that. So far, nothing too exciting. Now I got a uh, Hell Child Blood Money number two from Xenoscope. It's got a really, uh, really nice cover. Um, again, I, I don't know this comic, but it might be uh, something other comic collectors are looking for or, or like. Next up is uh, Power Firsts, the debut issue of Powers. Uh, and this is an Icon comic, and this is a Michael Bendis, Brian Michael Bendis uh, book. It's 
got an interesting cover, and I, I do like Michael uh, Brian Michael Bendis, so this should be an interesting read. Now we're into, uh, looks like we got DC here. We got Year of the Villain, Captain Cold, and the Rogues, number 82. And um, it's a fairly new book. And we got another Year of the Villains, Evil Unleashed, Supergirl, number 34. Again, nothing too exciting yet. And we have in, uh, looks like we have a Bronze Age Tales of the, Tale of the Teen Titans, number 54. Um, looks to be in a 8-0 uh, condition. And this has uh, Terminator on the cover. Next up is Batman Universe, number four. Again, another DC book. And next up is Conan, Battle for the Serpent Crown, number one um, Marvel title. Next is Agents of Atlas, number one. And this has got a, a really nice cover. Next up is a, uh, a Marvel Incredible Hulk, number 373. And this appears to be in a, uh, I would say this is in probably about a 9-0 condition. So this is a Copper Age book. And last but not least is not an Amazing Spider-Man number 300. This is... Uh, Marvel came out with this book called Eero, number three. Um, I haven't read any of these. I don't know if they're any good. But that's that was my uh, $40 investment. Uh, again, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to um, comment. Uh, I'll let you guys comment on whether or not you think I got my money's worth from Chino's Comics. Um, lastly, I wanted to uh, just do a salute to uh, Comic Jabroni, who passed away this past week. Um, Well-respected in the community, big uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan, and uh, always put out some pretty decent content, speculation books. Um, he was sometimes a guest on Simpleman's Comics, and uh, it's very sad to, to see one of our own uh, pass away. So um, uh, deepest respects for, for uh, Comic Jabroni's family and anyone in the comic community who knew him personally. Uh, with that said, uh, I would appreciate a thumbs up or a sub. Uh, I am trying to reach 200 subs and um, promise to get some more content out there. Uh, Doc Cop out, stay safe, and uh, here's to getting your grails and your key collectors, collectors collections uh, going, and uh, peace out.